Hi, my name is Greg Paglia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about silicone roof coatings and everything to know about thickness levels. This really came from an online request from, from a prospect. They said, hey, how much, what's the thickness of coating? Uh, how will I know if it's too thin or too thick or just tell me what's the proper thickness levels. And really when we put this coating on roofs, it's always to manufacturer specifications. Uh, they've done the testing with different climates, different roof substrates, um, different membranes, etc. So they know if you put 20 mils of coating on a roof, it's gonna last 10 years and probably way more than 10 years. So we just follow the manufacturer specs um, and just go from there. But the most common you know, thickness levels per warranty duration. So if you get a 10 year warranty, most likely 20 mils of coating will be installed. If you get a 15 year warranty, 25 mils of coating will be installed. And if you get a 20 year warranty, 30 mils of coating will be installed. It's usually installed in two coats, but that's what you should expect um, if a roofing contractor is gonna put coating over your roof. Um, I wanna to touch base on thickness levels over seams. Now seams are areas of a roof that you know, require special attention because these areas have a high probability of leaking. So what a contractor will do is they'll take, you know, like a, a mesh type material, dip it in coating and put it over your seams, let it dry, and then put more coating over top of that. So the thickness levels where the seams are at might be uh, thicker than the feel of the roof. So just keep that in mind. Um, a keyword that you might be told is dry film thickness. And really it's just a fancy word for saying that it's coating that's cured. So when they say, you know, you're gonna get 30 mils of coating, that's gonna be the dry film thickness level of it. So just keep that in mind. And then um, thin versus thick, you might be building odor and be like, well, how? Well, I know it's 30 mils of coating. Um, whether the warranty is through the roofing contractor or the manufacturer, they'll come out there and test the thickness and show you what it is. And if it's thin, they'll go, they'll go back out there and make sure it's at the level that was directed in the warranty. Um, and if it's too thick, then it's kind of a win for you. Uh, you're gonna get a roof that's gonna last way longer than the warranty period uh, without having to pay for it. So just wanna to touch base on thickness levels about coating. Um, it's all with manufacturer specs. Uh, if you wanna learn more about this topic in more detail, please click the link in the description. There's, um, it'll go to a blog post and uh, you'll be able to learn more there. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Thank you.